Number 22. The left side of the heart creates a pressure of 120 millimeters of mercury by exerting a force directly on the blood over an effective area of 15 squared centimeters. What force does it have to exert to accomplish this? So basically, right, they're telling us pressure, um, area, and they want to find then force. So what formula relates those three variables together? This formula right over here, right? So we have that the pressure will equal the force divided by the area over which this force is applied. So we want to find force, so easily just algebraically uh, rework this equation. You know, we just do a quick cross multiplication here, basically. So force will be equal to the pressure multiplied by the area. Now, what we have to remember are the appropriate units for pressure and for area. For pressure, we want it in Pascal, a.k.a. Newtons per square meter. All right, they're both the same. And we also want then area to be in uh, meters squared as well. So those are the two issues here in the problem, right? They give us the pressure, but the pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury. Now we can remember that there are 760 millimeters of mercury for every one atmosphere. Right? That would probably be familiar to anyone who has taken chemistry out there. And this is also a, a uh, equivalent. Let me actually just bring this down to the bottom to, so I have enough room. This would be equivalent to one point. Oh, 01 times 10 to the fifth. There goes my window again. Um, this would be equivalent to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the five Pascal. So in terms of doing the conversion here, right, we would just have to uh, place the units of millimeters of mercury on the bottom. And then we can go to Pascal on the top. And who is out there? Hold on. Oh, just another dog walking literally on the other side of the block. But for some reason, my dog feels like he's got to protect the property. And anyway, now we can place the value of 760 millimeters of mercury at the bottom, 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth Pascal on the top, and we can now just simply do our division. So 120 divided by uh, 760, well, excuse me, 120 times 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth divided by 760, we get a value of about right 15 about 16,000 all right i'm going to use the exact number when i do my calculations but it is approximately just so we have a value here right there's approximately 16,000 uh, and then what i need to do is again i also need to convert this particular area into square meters so we take the 15 uh, centimeters squared centimeter on the bottom meter on the top 100 centimeters for every meter, but what you have to do is you have to square this value. Either square it or do it again. Reason being, I mean, they're both mathematically the same, but you need two centimeters on the bottom to cancel the two centimeters on the top. And now look, you are left with two meters, which means meters squared. So that's all we simply have to do. So take 15, divide it now by 100 times 100 in parentheses, and we will get a value of 0 0.0015. And that's now meters squared. All right, and this now, all we have to do is just plug it on into the formula. So the force will be equal to uh, the pressure uh, in Pascal, which was about 1600, but the exact value was 15,947. Multiply it by then the uh, square meter, 0 0.0015, and let's see what we get. So 15,947, and... We get about 23.9, right? So the force here is going to be about 23.9 newtons. All right. So that is that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.